Welcome to my channel. I am Duper Daddy. In today's video will be on Patrick. We've got a couple of weeks worth of footage for you, including my Excel data spreadsheet. We start off the week in my office like we always do. As you will see, there's been a couple of games, a cup game and a friendly game. We will look up for cup game in a minute. We then just have a couple of players getting some experience. And lastly, a couple of players winger training, improvement on stamina, which is great. And then one of my B team youth pools, who will eventually come into my first team, becomes a formidable playmaker. Just having a look now at the games, as we saw on the news. So we lost 5-0 to Porter's Head Pitbulls. 5-0. I did play my B team because, again, I, I don't think cup games are important. It was B team plus I played it, play it cool, so that I improved my team spirit, which we will come to in a minute. So just quickly go showing you some stats. And today it's, it's a loss, so let's skip past that and move on so here you go here's the team spirit as you can see we are now on calm when you start season you will default at composed even if you end of the season like the cold war it would reset back to composed first game of the season so now we go into a second game with a slight advantage if the other team hasn't improved their team spirit we could possibly play a plus seven percent or a plus 22 percent if we played match of the season i've already kind of planned it in my head we are going to play normal and that will give us a plus seven percent now the reason why i'm choosing normal is because we're playing wolf club so wolf club came six we came fifth they played a qualification just like we did they survived and looking at the power ratings last year, they was we were very close, and this year as well with the new club Karango, we are very close. As you can see on the screen, I am showing you the power ratings. We are bottom, but I believe Team Spirit can give us an edge. If the other teams aren't using Team Spirit, I believe that we could utilize it in a way that will give us that advantage to potentially get fifth again or fourth. I am aiming to get fourth. Uh, looking at the Acti uh, latest events and activities within the league. New York Rangers has been quite active. I think they're, they're probably ready now to really push on and try and get promotion to Division 4. We are just now going to set my team up uh, for the next league game against Wolf Club. And as you can see from our last game, it is set as player call. So we have to remember to set our team and change that setting. And then I'm going to set up on the cup game my B team. Because, as I said before, I'm not bothered about the cup game. I know that this team is in Division 6 and it's a bot team. I'm also going to set up my team for the next league game. So my second, second league game. And as you can see, I have chosen Play It Cool. A bot team. I'm assuming that I'm going to win. Just going quickly now, set up my youth team. I won't bore you with that as it's not competitive. Um, but the main thing with youth players and what you should be excited about is our youth pools. So for first youth pool of the day, 15 years old, amazing, weak, poor, poor, nah, not good enough. Then we have 16, poor, weak, no thank you. And then last one, we will always take the last one. Oh, he looks pretty good, 16, inadequate, inadequate, possible. Not bad, so it's a BB, BBA. If he was in our second first, we might have taken 16 years old and 80 days. Not that great on age, but we're taking, before we go into our spreadsheet, the way we obtain the data from the game is that you go into the players menu, and then in your top right hand corner, there's a yellow star box. Now, if you click that up, it brings up this screen. And as you can see, there's loads of data. But how do we get that to Excel? Now on the bottom right hand corner on this box, it says download a CSV. So if you ever bring up bank statements and things like that, it normally goes as a CSV. So this will then generate it into an Excel. You open for file and hey presto, you've got data you can then manipulate however you want, like I've done in my spreadsheet and you're gonna see now. And on the first tab, we have for team information. I've manipulated some data, so on for 
right hand side in with all the greens give me a good visual of where the players are sitting at on their form then down at the bottom i've got average ratings and i've got ratings how for a and my b team sitting per stat uh, so it's a good one to see now we're going to the second tab training i've highlighted wingers they are my secondary training players and then my ims my inner midfielders are my primary and as you can see the secondaries have 11s and 10s and then the primaries are 13s and 10s and that just shows you the difference of primary and secondary we move on to the third tab which is form i have a form coach at the moment and as you can see it's working quite well it's very green before that i didn't have a form coach and it was very red hence why i've brought in a form coach and then we go into team spirit and i'm just showing you a bit of an example of why when we played that play it call it now went to calm which means that for next game uh, my first game of the season i can go into and get a seven percent increase and then i'm just tracking it uh, to see if it increases or decreases to see as much efficiency out of team spirit i can get right new week 24th birthday happy birthday hatrick 24 years wow Celebration time, come on. No one wants to hear me sing. Right, we're gonna now go into the first league game of the season. We're just gonna quickly go run through some highlights. It wasn't the most exciting game. As we come towards half time, so it's nearly now at half time. We've had four attacks to their two, and we've also got 76% of possession. How are we not winning? Let's see if we can get this one in the bag and move on to our next game of the season. So back to speeding up again, and oh, what was this? Boom, I saw a boom, boom. For shot is banged up on crossbar. Jacobson, our winger, kens it down for wing and hits a crossbar. So close. So now we're on six attacks versus their four. They've had a couple of attacks this half as well. Still 76% possession. It just looks like that. Neither, neither team can score. It's not a penalty. Not a penalty. I was gutted. I really thought it was. He hustled and bustled and he was brought down for goalkeeper and it wasn't a penalty. If I was uh, talking to the media, I would be. <laughs> so full time. So we hit crossbar. We didn't get a penalty. We had eight attacks against four, majority of the possession. We carry on with my office news. So some players are getting some experience there, which is great. And then we go look at the cup game. 6-0 we won, it's against the bot team. We have already done the setups for our second game of the season. I'm just gonna now quickly set up the cup game, which again, B team. And if I could, I would put on play at call, but obviously we've got a league game. Whereas we're, we're going on play at call anyway, so. Um, and then we now look at the results for the first round within our league table. And as you can see, the newcomers beat the bot team 7-0. So I'm hoping for the same for us too. So that should be our first three points of the season. Going back to the office, as you can see, we've got some players who have pinged in their training and our Probably our best player now in one rating anyway, in playmaking 14. So he's gone 13 to 14. And looking at our other 13s, there was valued at around 1.3 million. Looking at his value, 1.9 million. And I think this, well, I, I might have stated before that there's a possibility of a 600 grand difference getting up to 14. I've got two other players on 13 and 
I'm going to wait until they get to 40 and I'm going to sell them as well. Because if I can get 2 million for those three players, that's 6 million. So we're going to just quickly list them up for 2 million and see if it takes. And I will update you on his situation on our next video. So keep watching. For last youth pool of this video, I told you there was going to be two. So the first one we're going to inadequate, weak, passable, 16 years of age. Not bad. Not bad. I think I stuttered on this one a little bit of what I was going to do. But I'm going to say no. And then our second call, weak, inadequate, weak. I think as soon as I see two weeks, like move on. And then 16, weak, inadequate, poor. Again, nothing on that one. Our last pull wasn't too bad. On our first pull for day wasn't too bad. Our second pull, again, he's just going to sit on a bench. And this is the youth team on, on the screen right now. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. A lot of interesting things going to be coming around the season. Are we going to sell this player for 2 million? Are we going to sell our next two players for another 2 million and make 6 million? And then what are we going to do? with that six million. And then how does team spirit play out? Is it gonna make a difference our season? Are we gonna get full spot? So continue watching and following us. If you haven't done already, please give the video a like. And if you would like to continue watching this type of content, why don't you give that subscribe button a click? Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you have a good one.